Michael. So, um, yeah, um, I mean, and that's not a joke. I think uh, Mark, the, 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 there's no doubt about Mark w w was part of the part of it. I mean, I, I love, um, I, I loved his headspace. I, I I loved where he's going. I loved his also contentious um, issues that he has within within the advertising branding space, but also his understanding of the social media and digital space. So that was one of the things. But also, because we look at we we, we look at um, marketing not only on advertising and editorial but also on the social media we were starting to develop our own software um, to really uh, to, to do to do this and this was a really great opportunity there was fuseware that was exactly what we what, what we wanted and so it was a good deal for us so if we take a step back a bit we have to see at where the, the industry overall is going um, and unfortunately the media landscape has become fragmented and fractured uh, amongst uh, many different silos. And I think you know, the way in which brand strategy is going to improve going forward is if we start integrating these, these, these da data sets to create better intelligence products for better brand strategy. And the whole thing about Fuseware is that we always used to focus on social media brand intelligence um, and business intelligence from, from social media data. Uh, that's why we have the social media landscape report with Arthur. That's why we have our, 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 our data feeds and our dashboards. Um, but at the same time, it wasn't, uh, it wasn't good enough. It's only one slice of all the data out there around the media landscape. So it made sense to kind of partner with uh, a great company like Ornico um, to take things to the next level and integrate the product ranges together. And in terms of uh, cultural fit, values fit, um, you know, I, I like the guy. I like... I, I like Oresti. I, he's, a guy, he's the kind of guy I can work with. Um, so it was the, the perfect partnership, really. From a development perspective, in terms of the social media side of it, we're using a, a software already called Crimson Hexagon that was a Harvard, um, a, a Harvard tool. But really what's, what's great about it now is we're going to develop, so it's actually brought that development a year or 18 months earlier, which is fa absolutely fantastic. Um, saving costs on the on the crimson hexagon stuff. So it's so, so from a financial perspective and from a development perspective, it's, it's it's made a huge difference. I think utilizing Mark's headspace now in the social media digital uh, arena, it'll be able to provide us with much much better products and much better integrated products. My role at Ornico involves uh, integrating the product internally and, and helping the, the sales team, but also from an external basis, um, there, there's a large fracturing in the industry in terms of, of what clients work on different uh, projects and w which slices of data. So the, the social and the PR world typically haven't kind of worked together that much. And agencies are seeing the need for change now, and we're trying to drive this change internally. So I'm, I'm kind of spearheading that from within Ornico as well. Merging the clients, cross-selling, uh, trying to understand where the market's going really. And right now I'm, I'm leading the, the IAB panel on, uh, on digital measurement because uh, digital measurement has no standardization, it's not, got no benchmarking, especially in South Africa. Um, so that's happening later this month, it's going to be quite exciting. And you know, through that we can perhaps establish better standards in, in the digital industry um, and also around social media.